Hi, I'm Stephen Froyes. I'm a member of the Love the Avenue group. It's a community group dedicated to promoting Cushionet Avenue and the entire north end of New Bedford. Uh, we hold a restaurant week every year. We're kicking it off this week, uh, right now. Uh, I'm in front of Adriana's Mexican restaurant, terrific spot on the avenue. There are probably 40 to 50 restaurants north of Cogsall Street in New Bedford with terrific cuisine, everything from Mexican to Chinese to Guatemalan, Central American, uh, and of course Portuguese. Uh, Portuguese cuisine is a mainstay of this area with just some terrific places that you won't find anywhere else. And the concentration of them gives this area a unique flavor. So we are dedicated to promoting this entire area as a cultural district also. There's a lot going on up here and we invite everyone to come up and check it out. My name is Marta Gonzalez and I am the owner of Adriana's Mexican restaurant. We have been in this area on Kushner Avenue for five years. I winded up getting involved with a community group when we first were in 2014 with the CDC um, that we were a whole bunch of business owners around the avenue and we were looking into making the avenue much uh, better and in order to try to get uh, the people come down and visit all of us since there is a good variety of different cultures here. Every restaurant that is participating is highlighting one of their dishes and um, we, they hope that if it goes well, we, they're gonna be incorporating that uh, dish into their uh, menu. And uh, it's, we hope that it will be really great for all the businesses around here and everybody uh, will be highlighted equally because we all, we all work with each other. We don't work against each other. <laughs> The restaurant is named after my daughter. We are Colombian, we're not Mexican. And there's a real nice history about how we opened up a Mexican restaurant. Uh, my husband was, um, is very grateful to the Mexican people because they helped him out a lot. Uh, many years ago when he came over, he came through Mexico and um, he actually winded up getting very sick. Uh, priests winded up picking him up from the sidewalk and nursing him back to health. So he promised God that he was going to highlight the Mexican people and we winded up with a Mexican restaurant, which I never knew <laughs> what Mexican food was or anything. So my daughter and myself actually traveled to Mexico and we took culinary classes there just to make sure we were doing the right thing. <laughs> like me and you want to uh, experience all the, the, the culinary richness of the city of New Bedford, uh, this is a good week to do it. Uh, restaurant week in the North End, 
uh, is a week in which we highlight all the, the great offerings in, in the North End uh, with discounts. There's lots of discounts going on, and so it's a good time to, you know, to get out there and, and uh, go to a restaurant you haven't uh, been to before. But Steve's right. I mean, there, there is so much variety uh, in the North End, you know, ranging from this place uh, of, of course, Adriana's, it's just a fabulous, fabulous Mexican restaurant that uh, I've been to more than once, more than <laughs> twice, more than five times, more than, <laughs> who knows, but I've been here a, a lot. Uh, don't be surprised if you see me, if, uh, if you come in here, but, uh, you know, look, it's, um, you know, there are Portuguese places, there are Guatemalan uh, places, Chinese restaurants, there's, you know, Salvadoran, I mean, you name it, uh, it's here. And, um, and, you know, uh, for those who, who dine here, they can attest uh, that you know, what you get is, is of value and is of extremely high quality. And so we want to highlight that this week. And uh, I'm here with my buddy, Martha Gonzalez, to tell us a little bit about Adriana's, a restaurant she opened, was it four years ago now? Five, five. years ago? Five years ago now, uh, right here at the corner of uh, Cushman Avenue uh, and, and Holly Street. So tell us what's going on. Um, it we wind it up, we have Mexican food uh, here, and um, I'm also in the process of incorporating also Colombian dishes. Whoa, you didn't that, tell me that. <laughs> uh, we have, uh, we tried it for um, our Colombian independence, which was in July. Uh, a lot of people liked it, so now it's in our venue. Uh, so we want to make it like incorp we want to incorporate also dishes from other countries this way they don't feel like it's only Mexican that they're coming here although it's the highlight of the food here uh, it's uh, completely made to order it's very fresh and um, people like it <laughs> oh that's great all right so Tell me, uh, tell me what's in front of me. Tell me what I'm about to consume. So this is what? This is a sample of? Ceviche. This is ceviche, okay. Let me try this one. <laughs> All right, I'm digging in. Well, we gotta get a good bite. Yeah, I dig it. This is good. And, that's good for me. All right, what's next? This is the bean salad. That's probably, that's probably Steve's sample. It doesn't matter. He's, he's not here anymore. I can eat his. <laughs> Um, so this is bean salad. Right. And, and this is also ceviche, but we also have samples nice. of... Uh, so uh, is this a different kind of ceviche? No, it's the same thing as ceviche. Sorry, right, more for me. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, mashvika. Right. Okay. Outstanding as usual. <laughs> Hello, my name is Angela Johnston. I'm with the New Bedford Economic Development Council. I'm the Director of Marketing and Communications. And our team has been focusing on Cushington Avenue for over 10 years now. We see this space as a thriving, diverse business district. It has a little bit of grit, but we find that interesting. And we slowly, one by one, have introduced ourselves to the business community here and offered our services, our lending services, our real estate development services. And the Love the Ave team came together about five years ago. And in this initiative, we brought together residents, businesses, community organizations, and we came up with a strategic framework to ha on, on how to market the avenue as a place to do business, to live, to work, and how we can showcase this district that's been underserved for quite some time as a district to come to, to, to dine, um, to shop, and to, to attend the events. <laughs>
Now, I want to talk to you a little bit about Love the Ave and what they're doing for our great city, especially our beloved Christian Avenue in this neighborhood. They are changing the landscape, creating a synergy of positive environment for people to live, for businesses. So come back down, reacquaint yourselves with a cushion avenue, especially if you haven't been down here in a while. And what's even better and great is that the Love the Ave uh, group is partnering up with a New Year New Bedford initiative that is working collectively to change this entire neighborhood one block at a time and restore it to the neighborhood that it once was. Uh, you can feel the synergy is different up here. People are happy, We're walking around. So if you haven't been here yet, come on down. You are missing a true treat. I'm a big fan of the Love the Ave project uh, and over the past few years we've seen it highlight the uh, rich diversity of restaurants, uh, bakeries, coffee shops on the Ave that are sometimes left behind with the focus on downtown. So I think it's really important to have activities like this that highlight uh, just how great the Ave is when it comes to uh, the culinary offerings. Thank you for being here today to Adriana's Mexican Restaurant. And I also want to thank Stephen Froyce for um, creating this um, event every year. There's a great event on a Cushnet Avenue. Please come on down and try Adriana's and all the other great restaurants along here. Thank you very much. Know that you can watch any of New Bedford Cable Network shows anytime, anywhere on all of your mobile devices? How, you may ask? Just log on to nbcablenetwork.com and BAM! You have all three channels at your fingertips. Public, educational, and government access. Here, you can view our program schedules, watch our channel's live broadcasts, or search for a particular program in our vast library of shows. Last year alone, New Bedford Cable Network produced over 500 shows, and nearly all of them are available online at nbcablenetwork.com. Not only can you stay up to date with what's happening in your local government and schools, but also dive into some of New Bedford Cable Network's original award-winning programs. So check us out at nbcablenetwork.com. New Bedford Cable Network. Public, educational, and government access. Channel 95 is public access. Channel 9 is educational access. Channel 18 is government access. New Bedford Cable Network. We're more than you know us for.